Discharge is the quantity of water that passes a given point on a stream or river bank within a given period of time. We measure this in cubics, cubic metres per second. On the board is a picture of a river with a low discharge. The second picture shows the same river at high discharge. We show changes in a river discharge using a hydrograph. A hydrograph is a graph that shows how quick a river responds to a rainfall event. This is a hydrograph. This video will break down what the graph shows. This hydrograph is for the River Thames on September the 25th, 2019. First, we begin with the axes. The x-axis shows time. This hydrograph shows how the river discharge changes in the River Thames over two days. On the y-axis, there are two variables. The first is precipitation, measured in millimetres. The second is discharge, measured in cumex, which is the amount of water flowing through a particular point in the river every second. If there was no rainfall event, then the river discharge would be flowing at base flow. However, our hydrograph is showing what happens when it has rained over an entire morning. The precipitation is shown as a bar graph. This bar graph shows that the peak rainfall was 10 millimetres at approximately 6 a.m. in the morning. As a result, the river discharge will increase as more water reaches the river channel. The rising limb starts around 11 a.m. on day one until it reaches its peak discharge at 5 a.m. the next day. The discharge will return back to normal flow via the falling limb. In order to assess if a river will flood, it is important to know the time between peak rainfall and peak discharge. This is called the lag time. The lag time for this hydrograph is approximately 22 hours. Rivers with a short lag time are more likely to flood. Hydrographs can look different depending on the characteristics of the drainage basin. The main two types are flashy and subdued. Flashy hydrographs have a steep rising and falling limb and a short lag time, whereas subdued hydrographs have a gentle rising and falling limb and a longer lag time. Next week, we will look at how different drainage basin characteristics change the shape of the hydrograph. Now, using this video and the transcript, answer the questions to check your understanding. Good luck.